efforts to resolve the crisis and um, what are the next steps? Are we going to start arming rebels, etc.? Well, I've been very plain, and the United States has been too, that the failure of the council uh, due to the triple, double vetoes uh, of two members to, uh, to come together to back up the efforts uh, of the United Nations, and in particular the efforts of Kofi Annan most recently, uh, is reprehensible. And it is uh, very unfortunate, as the Secretary General said yesterday, because uh, the consequence has been that the suffering of the Syrian people has intensified. Uh, so I do think there are, practically speaking, at present limits to what the Security Council is, is able to do uh, to effectively change the dynamic on the ground. Now that may change as circumstances change or as political calculations change, uh, and the Council is uh, of the view that the efforts of, of uh, Lakhdar Bahimi deserve our uh, support. Uh, we think that a peaceful political transition remains the optimal uh, outcome uh, if that is uh, attainable, and his efforts to try to work to that end are certainly something that we very much support. Uh, with respect to U.S. policy, it's been quite clear. We want to see a peaceful political transition. Uh, we support efforts to that end. We have dramatically increased and, and uh, our very generous humanitarian assistance uh, to the people of Syria and the neighboring states. Just yesterday, U.S. aid administrator Raj Shaw announced another $21 million uh, for WFP for its efforts uh, in the region and did so from uh, Jordan. We have now provided over $100 million in humanitarian assistance and will continue to do so. We are working actively with the opposition to help strengthen uh, their uh, position politically uh, and materially. We continue to provide uh, substantial uh, support to uh, the opposition, including uh, communications equipment, medical supplies, and other material support. Uh, and we will continue on all of these uh, uh, various lines of effort uh, and intensify them with the aim of accelerating uh, the political transition in Syria and speeding the day when the inevitable occurs and Assad is compelled to, to leave power. Thank you very much.